Hey guys, so you're going to be looking down at the bridge in a second. So I don't know how long you'll have this connection, but you got it for now. Try and zoom in more. You can probably hear the tear gas coming over. This is the blockade on 1806 just outside of camp. This is about as close as I can get, unfortunately, otherwise I'll lose signal completely. That's all you're looking, I'm just trying to stream this on Facebook, so yeah. Just have some coverage on it, but if I go any lower, I can't get any service. But I'm in, I'm in Nocheti, Sakhawi. Um, have been for about two weeks now, maybe. To the best of my knowledge, what's happening is to do with the blockade being moved. I'm just here to try and document anything that's happening and coming from the uh, forces on the far side. Yeah, that is the bridge, correct. The light you see uh, at the blockade. Yeah, I'm sure it's being jammed right now, but that's the bridge on 1806. Can you hear my voice? Type yes or no. What you see is the bridge on 1806, where the blockade is. From the other side of the blockade, there's been tear gas fired, I've seen personally. I'm not sure about rubber bullets, someone had said that, but I don't have confirmation. Yeah, there's a 
plane flying above, which I'm sure that is messing around with the feed. Honestly, I just got up here after this happened, so I don't exactly know the start. I believe the barrier... Okay, so according to Unicorn Riot, yeah, I know it's a terrible picture. It's also a terrible reception. Hey, Emma. Yeah, I'm fine. I'm up on the top of the hill. According to Unicorn Riot, it was an attempt by water protectors to remove the blockade and reopen this bridge. Yeah, the buffering is probably... Yeah, if I go any closer, I lose my service completely, so I have to be on top of the hill above. The vehicles you hear going through are going up to the front lines to pick up people who have been gassed or... No, I can walk down there. If I walk down there, I lose signal. You videoing? I did some video. Okay. Yeah. I'm it's streaming. A jam, so we can't. I don't. I'm not 100% sure. The people are saying that they're not getting my feed very well, but I'm just. I was thinking about doing something like that, like live feed, but otherwise I'll just keep doing video. And I just want to make sure that. Uh, I'm trying to keep this document. I'm just yeah. trying to document it. Yeah, I'm not going to go down in the middle because I don't have signal. So stop worrying about me. It's all good, people. What you're seeing is the blockade being removed on 1806. I have seen tear gas or or uh, mace used. I'm not sure which. I think it was tear gas because I saw them being fired and bouncing across. I have heard rumors of rubber bullet. I haven't heard or seen that. But you'll see this is the road that leads up from the camp. So these people are coming up from camp. And I'm sorry about the picture, it's dark. You'll see there are planes without lights flying above us, which is totally illegal if anyone wants to call the FIA. Is that our drone? Or no, no, I'm not talking about drones, the plane that's flying without lights. Oh, that's, yeah, I imagine that's... They've got water cannons going now down there. I don't know if you can see that. They've got... That you hear is tear gas being fired to land way back in the crowd. Look at that. That is tear gas. You see, share this. You see it's being indiscriminately fired into the crowd. This is on this side of the blockade. This is perfectly okay to be on this side of the blockade.
know the picture's grainy and it's, I'm zoomed in so when I move the phone it doesn't stay doesn't stay I'm sorry people this is difficult to do but what you just saw was water cannons being unleashed at the front and what you heard was tear gas being was that mace or the, that was my apologies that was actually pepper spray you saw and what you heard was the tear gas being fired over because I saw the tear gas bouncing. Compression, compression bombs as well. There's compression bombs as well. And what, I, what I was told was this is, is the blockade is being removed from the bridge. This is the, for people coming in right now, this is on 1806, this is the blockade, the water protectors are removing the blockade. And it is, you see in the distance there, they've still got more and more forces coming in in the back. It looks like they're bringing down some kind of SWAT vehicle from what I can see, I'm just guessing and so I'm just trying to roll this so you guys can see what's happening but my focus keeps going so I apologize my camera focus to be precise so I'm gonna roll this as long as I can I know it's not the greatest Yeah, it's way too pixelated because they're hacking it, but you should be able to hear my voice. You can hear the plane above us that's being flown with no lights. Compression bombs and tear gas for sure. I'll describe as well as I can from where I'm stood. Unfortunately, if I go any closer, I'm unable to have service down there. But basically on this side of the blockade you have more and more water protectors forming up and the blockade is being removed to reopen this bridge. And then on the side with the police and the uh, National Guard you have deployment of mace in great clouds, compression bombs and also tear gas being fired the noise you'll hear is people calling for a medic, so there are medics up there at the front lines. And the cars you'll see coming back down the road are taking people back to the medics. Um, at this point in time, I'm unsure as to the reason for this right now. I think just to reopen the bridge that's been closed for a long time. I, I'm, I'm merely reporting what I see. And observing so I can't pass on any information past that yeah I heard there were rubber bullets too I, I heard that but I haven't seen that I have seen the mace I have seen the tear gas and I've heard the compression so I can report on that factually myself So what you can do is you can share this because right now I can tell you these are unarmed people who are being fired on with tear gas 
compression bombs, a mace, no I'm far enough away not to be not to be affected right now I'm up on the hill I'm probably three four hundred yards away I'm gonna try and walk closer and see how my signal goes Tell me if you're still getting this. Yeah, this is live right now. Not in your... You're good. Okay, I'm just trying to make sure I'm not in other people's way. No, I probably dropped it. It's really hard to get any kind of focus on this right now. Yeah, I'm sure I am buffering. They don't really like this very much. No, I'm far enough away not to worry, so quit worrying about me. So for those just coming in, this is uh, the blockade on 1806. And you'll see the lines and lines of police and National Guard on the left of this picture as you look. And at the front here, you have the lights. And then on this side, you have the unarmed water protectors who are being fired on with tear gas, mace, compression and also reports of rubber billets. Hey Johnny, thanks for joining. Please share if you would. I'm not sure where Aisha, where Aisha is. I don't know where anyone is. I just came down here when I heard this was happening. I'm getting as close as I can while still feeding. Yeah, I'm sure my feed will go eventually, but while it's going, just... I'm Okay, cool. Maybe you would. The noise you hear is people going back in cars for medical and trying to clear the road to get back to camp. Yeah, I'm gonna try and zoom again. The problem is when I... I don't know how many, but I can tell you more and more are joining right now. I'm trying to zoom in for you, but when I zoom, it gets very pixelated. The huge light is from the other side by the police and by the riot, riot police and by the uh, National Guard. The noise you hear above is a drone. And then above that what you also hear what you hear above that as well is there's also planes that are being flown again without lights. But again, I will reiterate, the water protectors 
are unarmed. So what you're watching is militarized police unleashing mace, tear gas, compression bombs on unarmed citizens. As you'll hear, there's more and more people coming. Yeah, keep keep sharing this. Yeah, if anyone wants to get the EPA to calm down for doing tests of the air, anyone outside of here that can make those calls and get them down, that would be marvelous. I know it's been spoken about, but it's hard to call from within camp and organize things. But if you have people on the outside that could organize that and get people down there for testing the um, for testing what those vapor trails are that come at night, because there's been a lot of talk about the chemicals. Um, but what's needed is proof. So if anyone is able to come down from the EPA and get the EPA down here to do a proper test, that would be amazing. So when people are asking what they can do to help support, the more people that call up for something like that, the more likely it's going to happen. So when you're asking how you can help support, calling up about things like that would be amazing. Because if you call on things like that and you get a thousand people calling, that will make a big difference. So someone can look up the number for the EPA. Someone can make those calls. Right now it looks like the main vehicle's backtracking and back to camp. And I hear people being asked to get off the bridge. Paul, if you're a certified HVAC and you can get those connections. That would be perfect. Because those are all things people can do. The other things that you've been told a million times but doing every day is calling the White House, is calling the Army Corps of Engineers, is calling your governors, is calling all the other channels, the banks that support this. Because as you can see right now, the unarmed water protectors are being fired on again whilst unarmed with tear gas, compression grenades, mace, and also rubber bullets. So everyone out there that pays taxes, this is what your tax money is going towards. Yes, the EPA is the Environmental Protection Agency. They're the people that could come down and test what these chemicals are that look to be coming from aircraft flown at night without lights. These aircraft that are flown without lights every night. And it's hard to get the numbers, and even when people get the numbers, the numbers are changed. But they're flown out of local airports. What's happening? What's happening? They're going to tell the cars that are around. Where are they coming from? That way. From behind? Yeah. For what? To block from boxing in from behind? Yeah. Okay. I've just had word that they're potentially trying to box us in from behind. Is that just vehicles though? Yeah, but they, I think they think they're going to arrest people whose cars are there, block everybody in and arrest the people that are allowed. Okay. Well, I'm, I'm going to keep streaming from here right now. All right, good deal, brother. I don't... I don't feel like I'm, I haven't been given any kind of warning, so I don't feel like I'm doing anything that's... Oh, no, no, you're not. No, no, but I mean, I was just... So a lot of people are going to move the cars because there's word that they're going to come around from the other side. Yeah, to try and, uh, to try and uh, blockade and arrest everyone that's down here right now. So I'm going to keep rolling from up here.
Yep, they were using tear gas on the far side just a few minutes ago. They also had compression grenades going. I saw them fired with my own eyes. I saw from up here and you'll s I saw a huge sprays of what I was told was mace. They're doing it again now. You see that right now? Wow. Don't know if you can see that. Can you see the... If I zoom out, maybe you can. See that firing right now? Right now, that is being fired on peaceful, unarmed citizens. I'm not sure 100% what's being fired right now. Just keep sharing this while you can. I'm just going to keep this rolling right on there as long as I can. I'm not sure how long my battery is going to last. I've been having problems in this weather. Right now it's very cold. I know the picture's grainy. It's the best it can do right now. But right now it looks like all the vehicles on our side are pulling back. So whilst everyone's pulling back, they're continuing to mace and spray down there. I'm trying to zoom out to get you some focus, but it's just not happening. That light is playing with the focus terribly. So for those that are just joining right now and not sure what's happening, this is the blockade on 1806, just north of camp. And it's an attempt by the water protectors to open this bridge. And right now I have personally been watching tear gas. I've personally been watching compression grenades fired. I've heard reports of rubber bullets. And I want to again stress, this is peaceful. This is peaceful, unarmed water protectors. So that's what you're watching right now. And anyone who's just joining, it seems like people are falling off here right now. Can you comment if you're coming in where you're coming from so I know you're there because I think I'm being jammed. Can you guys, are you guys seeing this? Or is this completely black right now for you? I'm not getting any comments, which is strange. But for those of you that are watching this, this is the blockade on 1806. And this is... Uh, the peaceful water protectors and they have been being fired on the, you can possibly see it right now okay you see that that is being they're being fired on right now that is what they're using I'm un, not 100% sure exactly what it is I've been told that it's tear, I've been told it's tear gas. Can any of you guys confirm what they're firing right now? It's, it, it, is it wood or is it mace? 
they've been macing up front. A lot of guys are coming off the line, Mace. You can see the power of this hose down there right now. Again, I'm going to stress that these are unarmed water protectors who are being fired upon by the militarized police. So they have compression grenades, they have tear gas, I believe that's a water cannon, they also have mace. So this is, they have rubber bullets too, I'm hearing from behind. I'm not 100% sure if that's water they're spraying right now, but if it is, it's pretty mean because it's pretty much below zero right now. So whether it's water or mace, I'm not 100% sure, I've heard both. But regardless, these are peaceful water protectors. Stay safe, guys. Yeah, there was earlier there were compression grenades for sure. There was tear gas and there was mace on the front lines. And the water cannon, I believe, is what you're watching right now. The noise you hear is a drone flying, I'm unsure as to whose that is. Yeah, I know the camera's pixelated, that's why I'm talking, because I can't... This is on 1806, it's the blockade on the bridge where the vehicles were set on fire previously. I don't know the exact temperature, what I can tell you is my hands are exceedingly cold whilst holding this camera, so I'm not going to debate the temperature, but either way, to be soaked with water in this temperature is highly dangerous. I'm but You can see they're also using... I can see it's hard to, to actually tell, but they're using... Um, the mace as well right now on a lower on a lower level you'll see the mace so that that's drifting that's the water cannon but is that water yeah yeah Otherwise they wouldn't be standing there right <laughs> so it was uh, removing the blockade on the bridge was what was happening and it's been met with as I say tear gas a water cannon you'll see they have medics coming through I'm just going to stress again, this is unarmed people. This isn't armed people, this is unarmed people. You're talking children, you're talking elders, you're talking every generation, you're talking every nation, every relation. These are the peaceful water protectors that are standing here and trying to say no more, to protect these lands, to prevent this black snake. And this is what they're being met with. This is what your tax money is paying for. For those of you suggested going closer, I wish I could, but right now my connection's weak. The road is open so people can go back to camp that need medical. So that is, that is what you hear being yelled when people need a medic, people coming through. This is about, as you can see, that water cannon is being sprayed on this crowd of peaceful, unarmed water protectors.
Right now, the, the temperature here is around zero, if not below. So you keep asking what you can do. You can call everyone in positions of power and let them know this isn't okay. You can pull the money out the banks that are supporting the Wells Fargo's, the US bank. Look and find out who's supporting energy transfer partners and make it be known that you don't want that to happen. That's what you can do. You can call the Environmental Protection Agency and get them down here because there's reports about chemtrails in the sky above camp and I can vouch that every night there are planes flying without lights over camp which is illegal to start with and there are trails in the air. We do not know what those trails are. But keep calling the EPA, get them down here. Reach out to the people that are supporting this pipeline and let them see this, let them know what they're supporting. Reach out to the police forces that are here and let them know that it's not okay. And keep sharing this and standing up and come here. So I know my life feeds grainy, I apologize, I can't do anything about that. I'm just going to keep rolling it from here as long as I can. You can call the White House, you can call your governor, you can call, you can call the banks, you can call the Army Corps of Engineers whose land we're stood on right now. Although it's unconceded treaty land before that, as is so much of the land in America. Yeah, these are unarmed water protectors. These are, these are people that sit and pray in camp. These are people that are making sure the elders that are here are protected and warm. You're not looking at armed militia. You're looking at peaceful, prayerful water protectors being brutalized right now with water cannons, tear gas, mace and compression grenades. And what you'll notice is they're stood there, they're not running away from this, they're standing and facing this on everyone's behalf. I, someone messaged me with all the actions that went on the other day with the Army Corps of Engineers and they said, Kevin, Bismarck, North Dakota was the only place where they had riot police stood against women and children. New York City was the only place that they reported having police at any of the other um, gatherings. All over the country there were gatherings at Army Corps that didn't even have police presence. But here in North Dakota, in Bismarck, they were stood there with billy, billy clubs and mace waiting against women holding children, holding babies in their arms and speaking. So yes, share this out and let people see what's happening to peaceful unarmed. Thank you for joining Australia. Comment the country you're, that, you're, that you, you're from or the state you're from. Let's see where people are all from. And call the governor of your state. Make sure you know, let them know that this is not okay. It may sound like a weak thing to do, but if everyone does that, people power. People power will change this. That's what's changing this here right now. We all need water. We also need the ability to be able to live to our, how we're taught to live without being downtrodden without being brutalized for simply living in a different manner, without having land stolen. Ironic that they're using water. As someone just mentioned, they say it's ironic that the thing they're using to control this is water, the very thing they're destroying. They're firing again, I can hear them firing. You hear that? That noise you hear is something being fired. I don't know if I can zoom in, but you'll see down here they're, they're banding up and firing. Now I'm back. Something's messing with my feed. Sorry, guys. That pipping you hear, that what you call pipping, is either either rubber bullets or compression grenades. My my guess is rubber bullets.
Yeah, I'm back. It was interrupted for a second. I know the connection's weak. For those of you that are joining, this is the blockade on 1806. This is the bridge. We're back. Don't worry about the interruption. I'm back. But this is unarmed water protectors who are being fired on by rubber bullets, by compression grenades, by tear gas, by mace, by a water cannon in below freezing temperature. You see right now it looks like they're forming battalions on the other side. I'm just trying to see. It's really hard to tell, sorry. But you see the line here. The line in line with that light on the screen is riot police. Fully, fully, fully battened up riot police with shields. You see the shields glinting in the light. Just keep sharing this. Keep sharing this and see what's happening to peaceful water protectors. These aren't militia, these are young women. These are grandmothers and grandfathers. This could be your grandmother, this could be your grandfather. This could be your child, it probably some of you it is your child here doing standing here and saying no more. For those of you just joining, this is the 1806 blockade just north of camp. On, high, sorry, on Highway 1806, it's the bridge. I'm not going to debate politics. If you're just joining, tell me which country you're in or which state you're in. Call, call your banks. Call the banks. Call the White House. Call the governor. Call everybody who has a play in this with energy transfer partners. Look it up and get some knowledge. Hey. You remember me, buddy, do you? <laughs> oh. I'm sorry, I'm... Iowa, come on. Iowa, oh my goodness. Kevin. Yeah, What's hey. up? Crazy, I'm good. Man. Yeah, I'm streaming right now. we got about 4,000 awesome. people watching. Awesome, awesome. Keep it going, Kevin. I'm going remind me your, Remind me your name. It's Tracy. Yeah, Iowa City, Kevin. Oh, I know, yeah, yeah. Oh, cool. So I'm going to go right down and get a long reach Okay, cool, brother. Alright guys, sorry about that. You see that? It's tear gas being fired right there. You see that trail in the sky? It's either compression grenades or that is tear gas. Either way, this is peaceful. Water protectors, unarmed water protectors. Yeah, look, they're firing right now. You see those trails in the air? That is them firing right now. Keep sharing this where you're from. Share this out as far as you can. Yeah. You got 4,000 people? Yes. What you see right now is that they're flanking around the edge. Shameful! Shameful! I'm sorry you're losing the... That's clouds of tear gas you're watching right now. That's clouds and clouds of tear gas. There's calls for medics right now down there. I don't know if I can zoom in any closer for you. I'll try, but it goes grainy. This is shameful.
Yeah, if you if, if what you're watching makes you cry, if what you're watching right now makes you feel like you don't want to be part of supporting this, then make the calls. Make the calls to the people that, that are supporting this with your tax dollars. Because people pass away is going to change this. I mean, you just see this. I'm just showing you. They've got, they've still got, sorry, but they've still got the water cannon going on these people as they are walking back. The coughing you hear is people coughing up tear gas. That drifting across there is clouds of tear gas. I hear Myron is somewhere up here on the hill behind me, I don't know. What they're firing on right now, I don't know. They're using that water cannon right now. I'm just going to remind you, these are unarmed. These are not militia, militia, this is unarmed water protectors. This could be your son or daughter, it quite possibly is your son or daughter. This could be your grandmother or your grandfather down there right now. They're trying to clear the bridge. As you see, they have battalions. There's lights over here too, way off over here. I'm sure right now that's probably under surveilling when people are here. That right there is the water cannon. So those of you that are just joining right now, this is peaceful unarmed water protectors being fired on with tear gas, rubber bullets, compression grenades, mace and a water cannon. This is your tax dollars that's paying for this. If you don't like this, then call your governor. Look at who supports energy transfer partners. Pull your money out of those places. Boycott those places. Because people power is the way that's going to change this. These, yes, these are, these are militarized police. This is a military or law enforcement taking this against peaceful, unarmed civilians. If you don't like what you're seeing, share this. Share it as far and wide as you can. This is over money. This is profits and power ahead of people. And these are brave, brave water protectors stood against this right now, not backing down standing peacefully whilst being fired on and keep sharing this there's five there's nearly six thousand of you watching this right now i don't have time to read all the comments so if i miss you just say where you're coming from which country which state and as someone pointed out the irony is they're using water against the water protectors. If this pipeline goes through and when, not if, when it breaks, they're not going to be able to use that water against peaceful people. They're not going to be able to drink water themselves. It's time for this madness to end. Just go to my page, it will be there. Anyone's looking for this. Minneapolis in the house. Yeah, if you're a lawyer and watching this, a human rights lawyer. We're going to pull this down afterwards. This can go. Alexander Fred from... Ohio, post this out wide for us. I'm 
Water is life and water is sacred. And that's why the peaceful unarmed people are stood there right now protecting it. Being fired on with compression grenades, tear gas, rubber bullets, mace, and that water cannon you're seeing right now. These are unarmed people. Many of these people an hour ago were sat praying around campfires and building structures. These aren't trained militia. These are unarmed people facing rubber bullets, tear gas, water cannon, mace, compression grenades. Peaceful, prayerful people protecting land, protecting the sacred water. So that you're looking on those that are just joining now. Yes, this is sub-zero weather. This is the 1806. That's the bridge on 1806 just north of camp. And what you're watching right now is militarized police and national guards firing on unarmed citizens. Prayerful, peaceful, unarmed citizens. It's a water cannon you see going right now. The popping noises you hear was was either rubber bullets or also compression grenades that have been being fired. You have tear gas, you have mace. I stress again, this is unarmed civilians. I'm not... This is on uncontested treaty land. What you heard now was just a drone, I think it was probably uh, one of ours. Is this ours or not? No, I know, yeah, do you know if it's... Doesn't matter. Um... There's, there's media. Oh, okay. That you see right now is the water cannon going again in below. This is sub-zero temperatures and they're firing a water cannon on unarmed, peaceful, prayerful water protectors. If you don't like what you're seeing, reach out to every company, every input that supports energy transfer partners. Pull your money out of those banks. Go to the Army Corps. Let them know that how they're treating the people here on Army Corps land is not acceptable because the more people that stand up and say something the more power there is because people outside of here that can't be here that's what you can do I'm just gonna keep streaming this as long as my feed stays yes this is evil this is vindictive this is is it's insane what we're watching and I'll remind you these are unarmed citizens being fired on. Please keep sharing this. You can help by calling the White House. You can help by calling your governor. You can do that every day. I don't have the numbers on me right now, but you can find them online. You can get the EPA out here, the Environmental Protection Agency, to see what these chemtrails are that are at night in the sky. You can speak to the um, FIA um, regarding the planes that are flown without numbers, without lights at night. The more people that complain, the more people that draw attention to this, the what's happening here. Because in camp, it's really hard to do that. In camp, there's very little signal. So people outside that can't come here, that's what you can do. Right now, yeah, right now I'm being lit up by a drone. So if this feed dies out in a second, I'll t you know why. But right now what you're watching, those that are just joining, this is the blockade on the bridge on 1806, just north of camp. These are peaceful, prayerful water protectors. This could be your son or daughter. This could be your granddad or, gra or grandma. They're unarmed and they're being fired upon 
with mace, tear gas, compression grenades, rubber bullets, and a water cannon. That that you can see constantly going right now is a water cannon. Right now I've got gloves on and my hands are freezing cold. I can only imagine what it's like down there for the people down there that are getting covered in water right now and soaking into their clothes. So just keep sharing this. I don't know if the feed's being jammed right now because I see, I see there's 10,000 of you watching so I think we're good. Just keep sharing it. Can you comment below where you are? Comment below where you're coming from, country and state, so I know that this isn't being jammed, you're still getting it as you come in. So yeah, this is your tax dollars that's going to supporting militarized police against peaceful, unarmed civilians. I'm not debating temperatures. If you, if, if you want to troll on this feed, you can find a better place to do it. These are people's lives at risk right now. You know, just a water cannon, this water cannon with the temperatures out here, very easily give people hypothermia, and will do. The biggest compliment you can play right now is sharing this video as it's live. There's 11,000 right now. Yeah, you can jam up the 911 feed if you think that'll help, but... That is, that's a water cannon you can see going right now. Yeah, I, the irony is not, not lost on me that they're using water against water protectors. Because when the pipeline bursts, they aren't going to be able to use that water for drinking, let alone spraying people. I'm going to try and zoom in a bit more, but I think it's going to pixelate it, yeah. Just keep sharing this, keep commenting where you're from. If you're just joining, this is the blockade on the bridge on 1806. This isn't inside camps, so this is a choice. People are choosing to put their lives on the line and stand out there. So people that are looking at coming here, you do not have to come and stand on that bridge. This is outside of camp right now. People have made this choice to make a stand. But they are unarmed. This is unarmed water protectors. I will stress that again, unarmed, being fired on with mace, tear gas, rubber bullets, compression grenades, and a water cannon. You should be able to share. You may not see it because I'm still streaming live. But when you come, when, it, when this finishes and uploads, You should be able to. Thank you, Jennifer. Hey, guys, in the comments, just stay positive. Send your protection, send your love here. Don't waste your time with people that don't have don't have support for this, it's fine. Just send send your love and protection to the people that need it and don't waste your energy on the ones that are just talking now. Johnny Lil Wolf, if you're still there, tell me if you think I need to take this down and start streaming live again. Thanks for joining me, Bill. This is the bridge on 1806. What you're watching is peaceful, prayerful water protectors being fired upon with tear gas, compression grenades, mace, a water cannon, rubber bullets. I'm wondering if my battery's going, so I'm going to be trying to charge.
Sorry if it's shaky right now. Oh, shoot. Sorry. It's hard to keep holding it still. Sorry, it's shaky. I'm trying to plug in so I don't lose the feed. Alright, guys, this is, I'm just plugging in. How about that, guys? I know when shaky, I was just. Hey, Jack, you want to come over here? Oh, sorry about that, I was just plugged into every pack. So I went shaky for a second, I apologize. For those that are just joining and wondering what on earth you were just watching, I'm sorry. So what you're watching is the bridge, 1806, Highway 1806, just north of camp, a Chetty Sakowin camp, Standing Rock, on the reservation. This is just the reservation on Army Corps. And what you're watching is you're watching peaceful, unarmed water protectors being fired upon with a water cannon in sub-zero temperatures, with tear gas, mace, compression grenades, and rubber bullets. I'm seeing people dropping off. Are you still getting this or is this completely jammed right now? Johnny Littlewolf, should I drop off and start again or should I keep going? Can you comment please? Thank you, Florida. Please share this. Please call your governor. Please call the White House. Please call Army Corps of Engineers. Visit them where you are. Let them know what's happening. Let them know that it's not okay. This is your tax dollars that's being spent like this. I'm going to stress again, these are unarmed water protectors. This could be your son. This could be your daughter. This could be your grandmother or your grandfather or your mom or your dad. Probably is. See right now, it looks like people are moving to circumvent the blockade. I'm just, yeah, I know it keeps interrupting. So on the side here, you these are water protectors. And as you come up, what you hear now, they're being fired upon again. These are peaceful, that's the cannon you see going. Oh my God. <laughs> that's the water cannon, again.
So right now you are watching a water, a water cannon being fired indiscriminately on peaceful water protectors. Okay, N Norway, you're just coming in. This is the blockade on 1806, just up from the, where everyone's camping, just off the Standing Rock Reservation. This is peaceful.